Hey, good morning everybody. Santa Claus here. Thursday, April 21st. About 9.30 in the morning. So, uh, right now there's nobody working. Beam and his, uh, I think his brother-in-law came by. They needed some more money for materials. <laughs> So I just have to uh, prepay for one of the Kubos. I'm almost paid off for the second one that hasn't even started being built yet. But that's what happens. Uh, they need the money for the materials to bamboo. They're actually going to get all the bamboo for four more Kubos. So we'll have five. Um, I'm pretty sure I know where I want to put them all. I have positions. Um, but the first one's still not totally complete yet. Uh, he said he's going to put some kind of like a little deck on it. And as far as the second story, uh, I think now that it's pretty much finished, he can't really put it. But uh, Grace said it doesn't matter because people, they, they just uh, sleep on that floor anyway. That's what they're used to here in the Philippines. And we took a look at the other ones uh, that are similar builds to ours in the, in the neighborhood here. We looked at Edwin's, we looked at um, uh, Phoebe's, we looked at the one next door to that. They all have the pyramid shaped ones, the triangle shaped, and none of them have a, none of them have a second uh, story where you put a bed. They all just have a mattress, a real thin one on the floor with um, sheets and a pillow, one sheet, one pillow, and everybody kind of shares it. And everybody else's here are, is smaller than ours. Uh, we looked at the, like the square footage, and it's all, all of them are smaller than ours. And we asked the prices, and uh, some people said one five, one, some people said 2,000. So that's that's about the range you can do it in. Around 2,000 is probably the top. Can't really do more than 2,000. I mean, 2.5 if it's really super busy and you have like six people maybe sleeping in one. But uh, I think 2,000 is fair. That's $40 a night. 24 hours actually, not just a night. So yeah, we're going to have to get some mattresses. We're going to have to find some thin mattresses when we're in maybe Cabana Tuan. Pick up like five of them. Because all we have is the really, really thin ones we put uh, on the bottoms of the tents. So people aren't sleeping right on the ground. But that's the situation with the first one. We're going to see, uh, like I said, when it's totally finished, I'll show you. But there's no change from the last one I showed you. There's no change. So I'm not going to show you it again. Uh, but he said he's coming this afternoon to finish up on the first one. Let's see. Uh, like I said, it's Thursday. So Friday, you usually start getting people coming into the, this area. But the weekend after Easter, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I really don't know how busy it's going to be. Um... But right now it's super quiet. There's no music. No noise. You can't hear anything. No motorcycles. So uh, when people start getting to hear, you, you hear it. You hear it. You hear the motorcycles. You hear the trucks. You hear the big jokey. So uh, nobody walking on the beach. I don't see one soul. Not one person right now. Uh... Let me show you. Real calm. I think uh, the tide's going out. It's going to be low tide soon. I haven't even been down to the beach. Uh, Grace said she was down there this morning and there was a lot of seaweed. Um, nobody picks up the seaweed anymore. Uh, a long time ago I showed you guys videos of people harvesting seaweed. They were selling it for five pesos a, a kilo, I believe. And they were drying it out on the beach. You can watch uh, the old videos if you're interested in that. 
And nobody seems to be doing it anymore. Maybe it's not allowed anymore. I don't know. But um, it's kind of strange nobody gets to seaweed anymore. Because I know it's mostly shipped to China. They eat the stuff. Um, they buy a lot of seaweed. But uh, it's there. And we just, uh, we just scoop it up, especially if it's got garbage in it. He usually collects uh, pieces of garbage and rope and stuff like that in the seaweed. We just, we dry it out and then we burn it. But, um, yeah, I don't see anybody collecting. Nobody, I don't see anybody swimming. We tried to find some flotation device like uh, Edwin has yesterday in town, but there wasn't any. So we're going to have to look for that in Cabana Tuan too. He's got a um, like a, a rope tied to like buoys, so people after swimming they can hang on to them. Um, maybe that'll help with the uh, people struggling when they're swimming. So that's about it, everybody. I mean, nothing else much to tell you. It's just another nice day. Not a, not a much of a breeze. Uh, if you're in the shade, you're good. If you're in the sun, it's way too hot. Catherine's at school. Um, mommy's cooking. Jimmy's doing a few odds and ends. And James is just, James, just playing. So, uh, that's it for now. If the Kubo gets finished later on, if the first Kubo gets finished here, I'll make sure I show it to you, the total finished Kubo. But uh, other than that, that's all I got for you. Santa Claus is going to sign out now. Make sure you like and subscribe. Over and out. Thanks for watching.